I'm just going crazy with this. Let me see. I don't know where I want to go with this next. Um, school. Did I? I don't know. So, how would I describe school? Okay, so as far as school goes, my grammar school was predominantly it was predominantly white, and that was my grammar school. So like kindergarten and up, I was basically chilling like with the white folks. I chilled with my cousins, like I chilled with my cousins and then. So that's kind of how like I was, how I was able to kind of maintain like some type of hood in me. But yeah, like I I went to a predominantly white school, so. Like a lot of my friends like were like always different like color than me. But it was never like a problem or nothing like that. I never really saw it as a problem. And that's usually how my mom was. Like she she'd have me like she she'd always encourage me to make like whatever type of friend. It didn't matter. And honestly because of her, that's part of the reason why like I have like a brother that's well, a guy that's a brother to me who's Mexican. That's why, like, I'm cool with the Mexicans like that. Because, like, I was taught, it's like, you don't judge, like, a book by its cover. Like, just, yeah, so, yeah, so from there, my grammar school days, I was way more nerdy than I was now. Like, yeah, I liked sports to a point, but it's like, I was heavily into video games. I was never really that crazy into girls like that, or at least girls... Yeah, I was never that crazy into girls like that, even though, like, I knew right off the bat I was, like, attracted to girls. Like, I think I knew I liked girls since I was, like, maybe four. Because, um, well, I'll say that for another time, but, like, it, actually, no, no, I can say it. Yeah, um, yeah, because this one lady that used to work at my uncle, like, where my uncle worked at, it's like, <laughs> like, one day I was just like, yeah, you my girlfriend, yo, I like you. And <laughs> she was like, okay. <laughs> but um yeah, my grammar school days, I was kinda I was kinda outcast. It's like I was in special ed and all that. So um like a lot of us we like a lot of special ed kids like we was kinda like in our own like little group. Except for like um it's like I was a part of, like I was kinda part of like this little group. Like we was like the three musketeers basically. It was like it was my Mexican brother. Then it was like this other black dude that was with me too. Like we was cool. I wonder how you doing now that I think about it. But yeah, anyway, um Yeah, we was like the three musketeers. But thing was, um, like um the black dude, like homie, like he was um he was more accepted by everybody. Like dude was like the most popular guy, like in school basically. Or like he if not, like he was like he was like six man popular. Like Jamal Crawford, prop popular, like in that sense, like in the sense of like he come off the bench, you know who this guy was. It's like he was always good with sports, like he was old, like dude was always getting girls and all that. Like I basically envy, I envied him at times. Like I'm not going front because I'll just be like, damn, I wish I had, like I wish I could get girls like this guy. Like I wish I could do this like this guy. But yeah. I was never like I never I never hated him for it. I never like held anything against him for it, like on the low, because there's a lot of people that will like backstab you and all that. And I think that's why bro like always like respected me, because he knew like he knew deep down like I was a cool dude and that I would never like hurt him, like I'd never like try and gun for him and nothing like that. Yeah. So grammar school, like yeah. I was I was okay grade wise. I did okay. I did. I think I was like a, a maybe a B plus, like close to A student. So then we go to high school. High school was predominantly black. So I'm coming out of a predominantly white school. Like like where I grew up. Like my upbringing was somewhat better than like I went like I didn't live in the hood. Like I lived like maybe, I guess you could call it more of the town. Like you can't really even call it like a hood. Cause like, it's like you go, the closer you get to the boardwalk, the richer the houses get type of thing. I mean, that's what like every place like around like Jersey kind of, but it was like, especially there. 
Like it was it was extremely safe where I was at. So a lot of these guys really didn't like care that much about where I was from. They was like, yo, this dude like this and that. Like so they bullied me. <laughs> Not physically, because I guess like they already knew I was strong or whatever. But I guess I just didn't realize it. So they would just I don't know why I did that. But yeah. I guess they just realized like mentally I was weak. So they would attack on that. They was always attack on that. But yeah, but that's how like the whole basketball thing comes in the hand. Like basketball saved me. It kept me grounded. And it's like I'll just work hard no matter what I do. And eventually people slowly started respecting me. And even the ones that bullied me. And it's ironic because like at some points it was some people that were it was some people that were cool with me from the beginning but ended up like kind of beefing with me near the end and then like we ended up becoming cool in the end but they was like why did you end up chilling with them they treated you like this they treated you like that i'm like you know why because they they up and told me straight up like yeah we bullied you we did this we did that but you know what man deep down you was always a cool dude and the fact that you never like once like tried to like hold anything against us man we sorry for real and i knew that was genuine because it's, it's one thing when people try to suck up to you it's a different thing when they actually give you respect and that was them giving me their respect so i could deal like all that all that stuff i went through the fact that you actually respectfully apologized to me I got you. I got you. Y'all cool for that. It's like instantly anything y'all did, like, kind of just fade away for the most part. Like, that thumbtack on my seat, though, was kind of not cool. I mean, even though I didn't feel it at the time, I don't know how. Like, I guess that was just, I guess I was blessed on that one because that could have hurt. That could have did, like, a lot of damage to me or whatever, but somehow it didn't. But yeah, um, yeah. So as far as high school goes, I almost like I almost probably would have been a C student. Like it was like the first, yeah, it was the first half. I was basically just barely passing. Like I was probably doing like B's. Like I really didn't care that much. And then when I got when I got into my second, when I got into like my second half of the class, because we do block scheduling. So that means like we have four classes at a half of the year. And then the other half we have four different classes. So the class I was in was like um I believe it was like an English reading class. No, yeah, no no no, it was like a writing class, I think. Yeah, because you had literature and then you had like this like writing slash reading class. So I ended up sitting yeah, so I ended up sitting with this one group. Like, we always talking all the time, so my grades are slacking. So the teacher just, like, the teacher finally just had it with me. So she sends me to the smart kids table, basically. So, like, the smart kids table had, like, had these two black girls, had this one Spanish girl who I ended up having a crush on. <laughs> my goodness. Um, Yeah. And, like, I think... Yeah, the thing is, like, at first, I think they was like, oh, he's probably not going to be here. Like, he probably not going to chill with us long. He probably going to eventually just move. Actually, no, 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 no. If I remember this right, they actually pushed me. I would try to slack off, but they would push me. It's like I would do, like, just a little bit of work, or I'd try and, like, skimp out on work. And I think they would notice. And the moment they noticed, they'd get at me. They'd be like, no, no, you're not done. Keep reading. And me, like, I'm kind of, it's like, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of animated in real life. So it's like, it's like, so they kind of be like some dunderays, but I'd be like that one chill protagonist or whatever that just be like, all right, whatever. <laughs> so they'd be like, you better do this. I'm like, all right, all right. I'm like, eh. It's like so annoying. So yeah, eventually I went from, um, I went from being this probably like C student to being an A student. And then from there, like, I just kept the momentum going. And eventually, I graduated top five in my class. That's ironic, ain't it? Like, I barely cracked the top five. 
but that's probably because of that first. That's probably because of that first half. But yeah, I ended up cracking the top five for that. So from there, I went to, um, I went to college. I went to community college for about, I think three years. Stuff happened or whatever. I had to drop out. So my college years, I slacked off a lot. I got, I got, I got heavily, I got heavily into. Like weed and all that, like drinking and all that. Like I got, I got heavy into it, so I just ain't bothered. Like I still would pass my classes, I still do good and all that. But at the same time, I kind of was just like, eh. And near the end, though, I was about to get my associate in business. So that was actually, so yeah, I put in, I put in some type of work. So I was doing, I was doing something. It's funny. I can tell y'all college story. I can tell y'all a few college stories here and there. But we can say that for another time. I'm just giving y'all a brief summary of where I'm, where I've been. Um, so yeah, college was pretty chill. Um, had to drop out, so I went to, through like a little bit of like, like some sad times or whatever. And then I went to job court, <laughs> and like I said, I got plenty of job court stories. So we're just gonna leave it at that. But yeah, Jaw Corps was an ex- like a crazy experience. And from there, I made it home. Had like a job or so for like a little bit. Got let go. And ended up chilling with my bro. And now I'm on YouTube. So yeah, that's like, I think that's a decent summary. How much was that summer? That was, ooh, not bad. About 12 minutes summer. All right, so yeah, that's that's kind of me, like kind of like a little bit in a nutshell. So with that, I catch y'all. I love y'all. Peace.